Now moving on to the question number seven. Plants are autotrophic. Can you think of some plants that are partially heterotrophic? Yes, obviously plants are autotrophic. Most of the plants, almost all, almost all, not all, almost all plants are autotrophic in nature. That means they are having chlorophyll pigment in their chloroplast, which is responsible for the process of photosynthesis. Now, what is photosynthesis? We all know this is a process of synthesizing food. And this property of synthesizing food is known as autotropism, which is the characteristic feature of only, only plants. Because of the presence of photosynthesis and because of the presence of chlorophyll pigment in their chloroplast, plants are known as autotrophic organisms. No other organism on earth, no other organism is capable of synthesizing their own food. Only the plants are the organisms which are capable of synthesizing their own food, hence they are known as autotrophic organism. But some plants, some of the plants or some of the species of plants are heterotrophic. They are partially heterotrophic. Which one of them? Some insectivorous plants are partially heterotrophic. That doesn't mean that they are not autotrophic. They are autotrophic. All the plants are autotrophic. But some insectivorous plants who eat insect who eat in, uh, upon insects to get their nutrition are partially heterotrophic. That means some plants or insectivorous plants play dual mode of nutrition. They are autotrophic and they are heterotrophic as well. They can synthesize their own food when they do not obtain proper or appropriate amount of nutrients. They can switch on to another type of mode of nutrition that is heterotrophic nutrition. Insectivorous plants eat insects. They, are, they have various means of capturing insects to obtain, so as to supplement their diet. They actually uh, eat insects or they eat upon insects to supplement their diet with the required amount of nutrients obtained from insects and by they are causing actually they are causing the proliferation in their growth in growth of insects. So some insectivorous plants are autotrophic in nature, they are autotrophic in nature, but they can switch on to heterotrophic mode of nutrition. They eat insects, they have various means of eating or capturing insects, various kind of plants, various kind of insectivorous plants have various means to capture insect, so as to supplement their diet with the required amount of nutrients obtained from insects by causing proliferation in the growth of insects. We have some examples of insectivorous plants such as pitcher plant, venus flytrap, bladder wart and sundew plants. So this is answer of question number 7 and if you want to write then it will go like this. Yes, plants are autotrophic in nature. They are autotrophic. We all know that, that plants are autotrophic in nature because they are capable because they are capable of performing photosynthesis they are capable of performing photosynthesis and why they are capable of performing photosynthesis? Because they have, they have chlorophyll pigment, a special type of pigment present in them. They have chlorophyll pigment which is not found in other members except for algae or blue-green algae. So blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, algae are capable of synthesizing food but except for plants and algae, any member on the earth do not have chlorophyll pigment hence they are not capable of 
producing or synthesizing food by own so they have chlorophyll pigment they have chlorophyll pigment in their chloroplast in their chloroplast so they are known as autotrophic organism but some some heterotrophic heterotrophic plants we have plants we have that is insectivorous insectivorous plants all right they have various means of capturing insects they have various means various means of capturing insects they have why they do so so they can so they can supplement their diet supplement their diet with required nutrients obtained from insects obtained from insects all right they capture insect they eat upon insect to supplement their diet with required nutrients obtained from insects causing proliferation causing proliferation in their growth in their growth so they are partially heterotrophic some insectivorous plants we have they are autotrophic yes they are autotrophic but they are heterotrophic as well they can switch on to another type of mode of nutrition that is heterotrophic nutrition when they are not having appropriate amount of nutrients and they can eat insects they can eat upon insects to supplement their diet with required amount of nutrients required nutrients obtaining from insects we have some examples common examples of insectivorous plants which are autotrophic in nature as well as they are heterotrophic in nature that means they eat upon insects so first if we talk about they have pitcher plant pitcher plant we have common example of insectivorous plants then we have venus fly trap venus fly trap we have bladder wart bladder wart and the last one we have is sundew plant so all these are the examples of insectivorous plants these insectivorous plants are not at all heterotrophic they are partially heterotroph heterotrophic they are autotrophic as well they can switch on to autotrophic and heterotrophic as well depending upon their requirement of nutrients so this is a complete solution of question number 7